Hey guys, so I am starting um, a two-day recipe. And I say that it's a two-day recipe because um, I am using the first day to gather all of my ingredients um, that I have thoroughly researched over the past couple of days. And then I'm also going to marinate um, the meat as well on day one. So um, this is most certainly an adventure for sure. After my research, um, I am going to go into um, the Lati Plaza Asian and International Market. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get all of the 50 ingredients that are needed for, let me show y'all my list. The Beria Tacos. Okay, so I wanted to take you guys with me um, from beginning to end with this recipe. Um, and it's going to start right here um, at the Lati um, Plaza Asian Market. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we are in the store. Um, and I have pulled my trusty list back out. And I look at the seasonings that I did not have in my cabinet or pantry. So from here, I am going to grab allspice. I'm going to grab coriander. I'm going to grab cloves. And I'm also going to grab Marjoram. So happy that I found all of these right here. Um, and as you can see, I will have plenty of ingredients for the next time that I would like to make these lovely um, Beria tacos. All right, now we are in the meat section. And I am coming for this. The baby goat stew meat is what I would like. Um, after doing my research on the Beria tacos, um, I discovered that goat is actually the authentic meat of Beria tacos or mutton. And mutton is um, lamb. So I have chosen to do, I'm gonna use goat, I love goat. Um, so give me a reason to be able to cook goat and put it on a taco, that was a winner winner for me. So that is what we are going to get from the meat section. I think I'm gonna get two pounds of this um, goat stew meat. Um, and what is also a coincidence to me is Beria is actually a stew. Um, so yes, the Beria tacos are very popular right now, um, but it actually is a stew. Um, and the, the meat from the stew is being, you know, incorporated into a taco dish. So there we have it. Hey everybody, so I am back. I am now at Pool Lion. Um, I was not able to find everything that I needed um, at the Lati Plaza Market um, to include the dried chilies that are needed for the Berea Taco um, recipe. So I Googled where I can find the Guajillo chilies that I need um, for the recipe. And I was able to find that Instacart referred me to Food Lion. So here I am and I'm in the international aisle and look what we have chilies dry chilies galore so we are good with these i'm just gonna grab um one bag of these guajilo chilies and i'm gonna grab this adobo and we're good to go we have um all of our ingredients to get started to wrap up day one um, and to be completely pe prepared for day two, which is going to be the actual 
making of the marinade and actually cooking um, the meat and making the tacos. So we're good to go. So um, even though it most certainly is a lengthy <laughs> ingredients list that I did not have not I guess a quarter of the ingredients that are required to make the Berea taco um, well the Berea stew that we're going to make um, tacos out of I did not have a lot of those um, ingredients so two stores and 20 ingredients later I think I did we did pretty good pretty good so um, Lati Plaza Market, um, I was able to get a lot, um, pretty much all of the ingredients and then we finished up here at Food Lion. Okay, good to go. Hey y'all, real quick, one more item I forgot. It was the, um, the Chipotle peppers and adobo. I also found that at um, Food Lion as well. Okay, I'm really going now. <laughs> hey everybody, so we are wrapping up part one of the Berea taco um, recipe. I have made it back from the store with all of my ingredients and I'm gonna show you guys all of them in a few minutes. But right now, I wanna get into cleaning and seasoning our goat um, because we're gonna marinate this overnight to get us ready um, to be able to brown and then marinate again, but actually in the stew ingredients tomorrow. So we picked up this baby goat stew meat from Lati Plaza Market. Um, I got two pounds. It was $12.99 per pound. So I paid $26.37 for two pounds of um, this goat stew meat. So um, now I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna throw it into my brine bowl. I have a designated brine bowl um, that I usually do brine and marinate a lot of things in. So I have that in my bowl. I am going to take some white vinegar and I'm going to pour that was about a cup and a half a cup and a half of white vinegar into my bowl and then now I am going to fill the bowl up with the water um, cover, fully covering the meat I want to let this sit in the vinegar and water for a few minutes while I actually manipulate the meat. I wanna put my hands on it to try to um, help with the cleaning process. So I'm just taking the meat in my hands And I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes in the water and the vinegar. So I'm going to come back in about 15 or 20 minutes if I have let this sit. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. So we're back. And our goat has um, sat for about 15 minutes. And it has a nice, uh, nice little film on top of this uh, vinegar and water 
that we have in the bowl um, that I am ready to <clears throat> discard and rinse um, our goat. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, yeah, the, um, I'm not really gonna get into it about cleaning meat, but um, it is what happens in this kitchen for sure. Most definitely, it does. Red meat, poultry, all of it. All right, so I have drained and rinsed and drained and I am rinsing and draining again. Okay, so I'm draining again. get into seasoning um, our goat which is going to marinate overnight in the fridge so okay let me show y'all first I'm sorry I am first taking this cilantro and lime adobo and I'm going to sprinkle this over the goat good amount Good amount of adobo to season the goats. Now, this is funny because I'm I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I don't I, I don't think that I pr pronounced this correctly. Not at all. I, I don't think I have for years. But um, I'm going to call it uh, Worcestershire sauce, and that is what uh, I grew up listening to my mother call it. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Black pepper. That's what I have so far. Now, time to get in with these. Okay, we are done. Part one of the Berea Tacos gathering our ingredients from a couple stores, um, washing our goat, getting it seasoned up, and now we are gonna marinate it overnight. So, I will see you lovely people tomorrow morning um, when we actually get down to browning our goat and making um, the stew marinade and we're gonna get it going all right y'all y'all have a good evening